All right, Fuzz Pie Guy here. As you can see, you're looking at the Quad Mini 4x4 Mamo antenna. Now this is for like home internet for T-Mobile and whatever other places offer it. So this is the complete kit. So I figured I'd just show what's included and what kind of things look like. So we have our anchors here. We have some pigtails from SMA to UFL little uh, adapter cable this cable here I believe is 10 foot and it's pretty thick stuff I mean this is like half inch and it's uh, I didn't even take it out of the wrap yet but uh, we have little rubber boots here that will slide over the SMA connector so we have that I don't know if that would be 100% waterproof. I would definitely probably put something else around it to help with uh, keeping moisture and water up. So let's see if we can open this up here and get a little better idea. So here's what the cable looks like. And we have our four pigtails for each uh, Hook up for cable one, two, three, and four. And like I said, this is uh, pretty thick stuff. So we have some part number here. And we'll just give a little idea of how thick that cable is. So we'll put that to its side. We'll move on to the window adapter, which this is pretty fragile. Now, if we move this around a little, as you can see, we have some kind of like double-sided tape. I'm guessing that will stick to both sides of the window. Then this will hook up to the cable going to the antenna and these pigtails which is pretty small kind of the same size cable as these pigtails here will go to the uh, modem and they're labeled one two three four as well same way with this here and we can throw a measurement of these little boxes here just in case anybody needs to know around an inch and a half square a little over these are two and a half and about three quarters inch thick so we'll set that to the side and now let's open it up and see what this antenna looks like let me get this out of the way here all right so we have a kind of a guide here on how to hook it up and so on so we have that and here is the antenna which is a little bit a little bit bigger than I was thinking it would be which is not a bad thing we have our mount here. I'll get everything out here then so we can see what we're working with. Get the box out of the way. Alright, so we'll start here with the antenna. And we'll undo the velcro. Now we got some pigtails here which is probably around three foot long. And we'll move on to the antenna. We'll see how uh, big that is, if I can find my tape measure. 13 inches by almost about seven and an eighth. Then we have our mount here with some zip ties. Now, I don't know if I'd trust them little zip ties there. I would have my own, I would replace them, use them, but 
that's just me. We have a four pack suction cup adapter and some more uh, wall anchors and a couple more zip ties to mount the antenna to a window or whatnot using the suction cups. That's a pretty cool idea. The only thing I don't like about that is it would happen to fall. So, let's see what the back of the antenna looks like. And we have our mounting hardware here and a bunch of little screws. And we have a little where the plastic is together here. Hopefully over time that wouldn't allow water down in there. Same way with down and behind these or where the plastic's put together there. But I think if you would put this under the eave, obviously it wouldn't get as much uh, rain and snow and everything else on it. So that's pretty much about it. Then we have this guy here as like a little stand, of what sort. But uh, that's pretty much it on what the uh, antenna itself looks like. Thanks for watching.